Hello, Strong Challenge participants. My name is Jason. I'm the executive director of YMCA Camp Kentucky, the overnight camp that the Lincoln Y operates. And I wanted to talk to you about a story that we tell at camp quite a bit. And it's one that you may have heard of before. It's called the Lorax. It's a story that we've been telling at camp for years and years. And in that story, you might recall the Onceler um, is looking back at his life and telling the story of his role in creating a factory that kind of markets and creates a fad product known as a thneed. And the thneed, you might recall, is a fine thing that all people need. It's a shirt, it's a sock, it's a glove, it's a hat, but has other uses yes, far beyond that. The trouble is, is the making of the thneeds involves the bright colored tufts of the truffle trees, which in the process of making thneeds, the forest of truffle trees is decimated by the operations of this factory. Throughout the story, uh, a character called the Lorax shows up and asks the Onceler to reconsider all of his actions and their impact they're having on the environment and on the creatures that call the truffle trees home. It's a great story with an environmental message and one about empowerment and how we can change the world. And at camp, we often focus on the last message of the Lorax, which goes, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's gonna get better. It's not. But for the strong challenge today, I wanted to actually focus on the last message of the Onceler, which you might recall is actually delivered to the reader of the story. And it goes like this. It goes, so catch, calls the Onceler, and he lets something fall. It's a truffle seed. It's the last one of them all. You're in charge of the truffle seeds and the truffle trees are what everyone needs. Plant a new truffle. Treat it with care. Give it clean water. Feed it fresh air. Grow forest and protect it from axes that hack. And then one day the Lorax and all of his friends might come back. You see, I think that most of us probably feel that if we were in that situation, that we would rise to the occasion. That if somebody stood before us and said, you could save the world and here's how to do it and gave it to us, we would take that truffle seed and we would get planting. In fact, I think too often we wait for things like that to happen. We wait for somebody to come by and say, you're the one that can change this, and here's how to do it. The truth is, every day there are truffle of seeds that are um, falling right all around us, just waiting to be caught, just waiting for someone like you to care a whole awful lot. We just aren't as good at spotting them sometimes and aren't as blessed to have somebody pointing them out. So here we are in the middle of the fourth week of the Strong Challenge. With everything going on, it can be easy to let those opportunities to better ourselves and to better our community fall right past us. So our challenge today is to not let that happen. To get in those 20 minutes of activity for yourself, to help a neighbor with a task that they need help with, to wave to a stranger, to wear your mask when you're out in public. All of those things can make the world better today. So get out there and catch your truffle seed. Let's make our community strong. Have a good day.